Flipgrid is a tool that I've been using for a while because it allows student voice and it allows for collaboration and feedback. It is synchronized with both Google and Microsoft, so you have flawless access and design to integrate to the Flipgrid experience. Groups are essentially I've set up to be my classes, but they could be other groupings that you have. And then within each group, you will see items that are your topics or your key concepts. Also, if you return to that area that says discussion, any of the topics you create will be there. And a topic can be set up in such a way where you have a prompt and you have instructions for your students. You have the ability to edit it. And when it comes time to providing it for your students, a multitude of ways to share. Creating a topic is quite basic. You simply hit create topic, give it a title, a prompt. You could add media if desired. You have the control over the permissions. You can also moderate the topic. This is often something I do in the first video students record so they feel comfortable, um, but I also make sure they're using the tool appropriately. You're able to add resources, and you can create the dates that you want your topic to be active. Once you're all done with that, you would hit Create Topic. Now, the great thing about Flipgrid is, like many things, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. So there is something called a discovery library, and maybe you wanted to do something related to the water cycle. You could go to the discovery library if you're teaching middle school students, you could have the middle school community, you could have the high school community. If you discover something like water cycle in a bag and you see, hey, this teacher has provided directions, they've explained what they want to do, you can actually share that topic by copying the link itself and putting it um, you know, to Twitter or Facebook because, hey, you want people to know it's a good idea or you can add that topic into one of your groups simply by selecting your group. Um, I am not going to add that to one of my groups and confuse my students. Um, there are so many ways to use Flipgrid. I'm going to share this on the screen as I, I talk about some of the ways I have used it. I have used it to help train state officer candidates asking them a question, having them respond. It's asynchronous, but it allows them to develop some of that skill. And then we have face-to-face. -face. I have heard of teachers using it to create virtual career fairs and using guest passcodes to allow people to access it. Recently, a blog came out with several other ideas, creating vision boards, minute to win it challenges, countdown calendars, um, personal narrative sharing. They also included things like student portfolios, different uh, parent teacher conferences. They also had one where it was doing a virtual club fair. Uh, this potentially could be really good depending on where you're at next year. Learning to pronounce student names. So again, so many ideas in a tool that really allows for the opportunity to give students voice in the learning experience.